slow. Stay. It's been around four months in isolation, and I live not too far from New York. So I decided to take a trip to see my best friend and I. Mostly just celery juice. Tastes like just celery juice. No, there's there's a big fat zucchini in there. Doing all that work. Yep, I'm full. New York was hit really hard with the coronavirus a few months ago. And now it is in the recovery stage. It is not fully clean, of course. Nowhere is yet. But since I'm already here, I wanted to show you guys an insider's view of how New York is doing now. Humid as fuck. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to New York City. We're in the park right now. We're gonna go for a morning run. We got, I got up super early today, which is very unusual for me. Disclaimer that obviously COVID is still a huge thing, but um, but it's not as bad as it was in New York as like a couple months ago. So I'm gonna show you kind of post COVID, the the bulk of COVID, whatever, in New York and what it was like. I'm gonna show you some, some clips of what it was like whenever um, it was going dur during all of it, because I have some from my best friend's boyfriend. And then I'm gonna show you it now. But first, we're gonna do a quick workout. That is the really city where we are. So that's yeah. So we are seeing the other side of things. Okay. In Pennsylvania, they already opened up the gyms. In New York, they still, and New Jersey, they have still not opened up any gyms, and I'm not sure when they're going to. So everybody works out outside. A big difference between LA and New York I've found since I've lived in LA is that people leave you alone in New York. It's very nice. They don't bother you. They don't stare at you. It's just, it is what it is. Since being here, I've been working on my cardio more, which I hate, but that's what I'm, that's all I can do right now. I did some shuffling and push-ups and some squats. I did a little shuffling outside. It's very good cardio. Um, now we're going to Blue Bottle Coffee, which uh, we really liked in Los Angeles. It's kind of pricey, but it's the best coffee we ever had. It's the best. Yeah, it's very good. I'm not just being bougie or just a white <laughs> girl when I say that, but it actually is the best. So yeah, we're gonna get a cup of Joe in New York. A cup of Joe. I'll show you what Times Square and like the, the city city looks like too. But it's, um. I don't know how different it is because I was I was here in the winter time. Oh, that was pre-pandemic. That was pre-pandemic, but also like it's it, it was really cold too. It's very 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 different. Yeah. So she would it was. she would know like New York is very busy and crowded. This is footage of generally pretty busy places in New York City during the pandemic in April, which is probably when it was near its worst. For all restaurants or any food places, you cannot sit inside, everything is to go and you have to wear masks and there's lots of plastic and X's to stand at and social distancing. Can you do a little dance on it? <laughs> have a great day, thanks. Thank you.
denies a champ. So we want to film this. We're going to I want to film for TikTok and we have to, um, oh yeah, we're going to try to get some content at Times Square, but there's nowhere to park. So we have to like run out, take it really fast and then run back in. And this is the stressful part. We're going to the bathroom, but I went into McDonald's and they're like, no, because there's a bouncer for the bathrooms. There was a bouncer. It was very large. Yes. In a suit. I did my makeup in here. So. Makeup driving, it's the way to go. So okay. how are we doing this? Where, where are we doing I, it at though? Because I kind of want to do it like with the... So if we if we go to that corner, so let's yeah. see if that's... I'm going to go out and do this up. and then I'll show you guys how it turns out. Was a shot in that area now we're gonna go out and she so i'll link her um her instagram and stuff below so we're gonna go out run out again and take some pictures this time in times square where we did it last time last time i did the new york vlogs i was in a really really bad place and it was kind of sad so now i'm hoping to redo them in a bit of a better place and, and it's also warmer out it's so much warmer it was so cold because it was yeah, the days that you were here in the winter were like the, the coldest, coldest days yeah, in, of the year. I came I came back from, I think, New Zealand and I went to New York and I was just like, Burr. okay, we're going to run out. This is amazing. pandemic um, it's also during the day so most people are wearing masks yeah so in general there aren't that many people out those stairs were when we walked off they just recently opened back up again not a lot but it was pretty empty a little bit of shopping really it's the same except you have to wear a mask and i don't know if the changing rooms are open or not but we went to some boring stores so i didn't really vlog it now we're just walking and it's really nice in new york because there's a lot of we're talking about there's a lot of variety more so than when i lived in la uh, there's like there's like water there's greenery you can't really find that in la as much so i like I like it until it gets like winter time then i won't like it <laughs> 7,040, pick up on 7,040, please. Why? Why is black pepper You can only expressive? express it in your eyes now, so you have to really... Why? Like when you're when you're smiling. But look, I'm not smiling. You're like, black. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's pretty normal, except you have to wear masks and use hand, 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 hand sanitizer. Hannah Santa Wana. Hannah Santa Wana. All the time. Yes, yeah. all the time, constantly. So, so I guess you have to also... Distance. Um, you do a social distance, but I mean like, you, you know, I don't know if you wear more lotion because hand sanitizing dries out your hand. Yeah. I don't know how to vlog anymore. I'm, I do apologize, like this vlog is gonna be weird. I hope, I hope it shows you something that you haven't, that you didn't already know, but if not, you know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't put you in a cart in a while. That's true. We didn't think breakfast cereals were already unhealthy. They have a Twinkies breakfast cereal. Welcome to America. Babe. Welcome to America. Like, that's gross. You want to know what's the first ingredient? Probably sugar. Okay, dextrose, whatever that is. And then sugar. It's my face. It's <laughs> Twinkie. Vitamins. You guys know how obsessed I am with vitamins. Especially clearance vitamins. Prenatal, doesn't matter, I'll take it. <laughs> you guys are pregnant. Pregnant now. Melatonin? No, I think melatonin is the thing in melatonin. I do need probiotics, but I can't commit to buying them. I have a daughter. Crazy. <laughs> oh, God. Step one. Hello, Mark. Thanks. I'm not really used to doing all this stuff because, you know, I was living in the country and I never went anywhere, so I didn't really have to use a lot of hand sanitizer. But now, 
have to get into the routine like everyone Here, else. I'll give Thank you. you. Sanitize those hands, girl. Feels dirty being in there. New York is actually, we were looking it up, one of the dirtiest cities in uh, America. So, But it's cool still. I really like it. Even though I don't think so, I think when you're from here, you can she's a dirty, dirty, nasty, filthy girl. Zetsy. Zetsy mouth. I got perfume that I got that I wore all the time in Los Angeles and it's so weird how it just brings you right back how scents do that our shopping trip is done now this vlog is over the course of a few days that I had here I think I'm gonna, I want to talk about like my breakup soon because I need like I want to it's I think it's I good. think for you it's cathartic no, it's like, I don't like know, I wouldn't writing even... in your journal and writing raps is yeah. cathartic for you yeah exactly you know, like a and then and then I'm just, I'm just over it because I'm ready. Okay, so we are out here in the, a warehouse place doing another photo shoot thing. And this is gonna be the end of the part one of New York post pandemic. Stay tuned for part two and that's, we're gonna travel more into like, what was it, Uptown? Yeah. Thank you for joining me in part one. And let's do part two. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. Please stay tuned for part two.